Hello, beloved, and welcome to your reading. We are going to be diving deep into the reading as usual to see the messages that the divine wants you to receive at this moment in time. So please do take what is resonating with you, leave behind anything that is not for you. So let's have a look to see the first message that is coming for you. The divine is saying to you that it is important for you to listen, to be quiet, because there is going to be some divine guidance that is going to be coming. And this guidance is something that you've been praying for. This guidance is going to be giving you the key that you need as you're going on a journey. For some of you, this journey is connected to you finally leaving behind things that no longer serve you. The divine is saying that for some of you, there's just this feeling where you are dying inside, where you are caring too much, where you are doing too much. And it is important for you to stop and to questioning and to question rather why you are carrying so many burdens and what you need to leave behind. Leave behind the baggage that doesn't belong in your future. Leave behind the baggage that is weighing you down. Okay. Because the divine wants you to understand that for most of you, okay, this is for the most of the people who are watching this reading. The divine is saying to you, there is a new chapter. There is a new beginning that is starting where you are going to be seeing that life feels good. Life feels relaxed. In the past, life was full of burdens. You were expected to carry other people's loads. But as you're going into the new beginning, as you're going into the new chapter, the divine is saying that there is just going to be this beautiful sense of gratitude around you because you're really leaning into the new chapter that is here. You're starting to feel that finally you deserve what is unfolding for you. So whatever it is that you're currently experiencing at the moment, the divine is saying that you are on a journey, a journey that is asking you to take a leap of faith, that is asking you to take a chance on a new beginning. For some of you, this chance could be you playing the lottery and winning. For some of you, it is important for you to understand that playing the lottery doesn't just mean buying a lottery ticket and hoping for the best. Some of you, you are literally playing the lottery of you going in a new direction, of you leaving behind what no longer serves you. So the divine is saying that it is important for you to understand that the new beginnings that are here are going to be leading you to a new chapter that is going to be feeling like you can finally breathe a sigh of release. And even a sigh of relief, okay? You're just breathing out like, finally, I have arrived. Finally, this new chapter feels so good that you're able to journal and tell the divine how good life feels because you're finally understanding that by showing gratitude, it is like saying thank you to the divine. It is like showing that sense of communication in a way where you are not asking for anything but in a way where you just like you know thank you for everything that i have there's almost like this warm feeling around my heart where you just finally feel that you are in a sense you finally arrived you are home you're safe and you're excited about the new beginnings and the new chapters that are going to be unfolding for you as you are taking more chances, as you're going forward. Because the divine understands that as humans, we're almost like never satisfied, right? We pray for something. We leave behind what no longer serves us because we understand that for us to receive, we need to put things down that don't belong in our future. And this allows us to have our hands empty and open to receive what it is that we want. And once we receive it, you stay in that moment of joy. You really embrace that moment by showing the divine gratitude. And then what happens next? The cycle starts all over again. So for some of you, you're wanting a new job. You're doing whatever it is that you need to do. You're communicating with the divine. You're listening to the divine guidance. You're taking a leap of faith. You're applying for that job that you feel that you're underqualified for. You're applying for that job that you feel is rightly yours. So you are intuitively going for it. And you could be surprised that you're actually receiving that job. You are getting that job. And then once you've received that prayer, once your prayer has been answered, now you're wanting something different. You're now praying to the divine to find maybe the love of your life. You receive the life of your life. You release relationships that are no longer serving you. And you start enjoying that new romance. And then what happens? 
you pray for something new and the cycle goes on and on and on because the divine wants you to understand that life was meant to be enjoyed life was not meant to be just repeating the same thing over and over again like groundhog's day life was meant to be full of magic life was meant to be full of adventures so the divine is saying as you're going into this new beginning that is here you're really embodying the energies of the knight of pentacles so not only do you have the money not only do you have the resources you're understanding that you're wanting to build on what you have so for some of you you're building a new home you're buying a new home you're extending your home for some of you maybe you're moving to the countryside you're starting to do some farming you're growing your own food you are really involved in the journey that is here and you're understanding that slow and steady wins the race because the energies of the Knight of Pentacles is all about not cutting corners, but understanding that you have to do everything right. Okay, because there is no rush. Because once you start seeing the magical moments happen, you relax in to the new chapters. You relax in to enjoying what is unfolding for you. And then yes, you pray for the new beginnings. Yes, you pray for something else to come in. And now you relax. Because you understand that receiving is part of your beautiful journey that starts to unfold for you. All right. So as I'm getting your next tarot cards, I want to remind you that we have our Arcando Magic Ceremony tomorrow. This is the ceremony connected to the super moon that is going to be happening in the sign of Capricorn. So whether you're praying for your business, whether you're, you're praying for money, whether you're praying for stability, whether you're praying to climb that ladder, whatever it is that you're praying for, the energies of Capricorn, especially being a super moon, is really supporting you receiving what it is that you are wanting to bring into your life. So if you're wanting to be part of the candle magic ceremony, go to the description box below. Reserve your space on that ceremony and then please remember to write your petition and send in what it is that me, my guides, my ancestors, my team are praying for and then understand that your proof of works will be sent out to you. For everyone else who's taken part in all the past ceremonies, all your proofs of work have been sent. So make sure that you're looking at your emails because I've sent you all the videos. Okay, I do other candle magic ceremonies connected to releasing bad luck, cutting the cords, as well as spiritual cleansing. So whilst you're, on my, whilst you're on my website, have a look at all the other ceremonies that are there. So the next message that is coming up for you, the divine is saying to you, like I already told you, isn't that the perfect card? This was the perfect card to go with our divine guidance that is there, where the divine was saying, don't cut any corners, enjoy the process, enjoy the journey as everything's unfolding for you. The Three of Swords is the perfect card when we're looking at our card that's saying to you, leave what no longer serves you. So the divine is saying that for some of you, you're currently stuck in painful situations. And again, like I already told you, it is important for you to look and see how you can start shifting, how you can start moving away from these painful situations. Because for some of you, this situation becomes karmic, okay? It becomes like a vicious karmic cycle where you stay in a painful situation and one blow after another after another keeps getting delivered until finally you're sick and tired of being sick and tired and you pack your bags and leave. You pack your spirit and leave a situation. So the divine is saying to you, whatever it is that you're feeling, a lot of disappointment around wherever it is that you're feeling that it is time for you to start shifting. It is time for you to start trying new things. It is important for you to do so because it is important to take chances and not to stay in situations where you feel nothing but disappointment, where you feel nothing but pain. Okay, so, okay, too many cards. So hang on a second, divine. Okay, all right, let's take the two that have come up and then we can close off this reading because I need to go and start preparing for the ceremony tomorrow for that super moon. So let's have a look to see what is coming up. You're receiving the energies of the Knight of Swords. Again, perfect for our card that is talking about you taking chances. I want you to observe the Knight of Swords. Can you see the determination? Can you see the resolution that is connected to this card? The Knight of Swords, you are knowing where you are going. You are feeling inspired. You are taking chances. Look at our knight go. He is flying. He is just ready to already get there. So the divine is saying, yes, 
It is important for you to take the action, but remember to enjoy the journey at the same time. So you can see that our knight, he is just moving at a fast, rapid pace. And the divine again is saying, slow down, enjoy the journey. Sometimes when we're manifesting, we're really wanting to get there already. But the divine is saying that the next time you, when you're manifesting, you now relax and enjoy the journey because you have already have the faith. You have already have the proof in the pudding that when you put your mind to it, you literally can shift mountains. The swords are connected to your mind. The swords are information. So the divine is saying that important information is coming in that is going to be inspiring you to take the action that you need. And as you're taking the action, you're able to roll that dice. You're able to make things happen. So if you're understanding what this message is all about, if you're truly wanting to embody this message, comment 777 in the comment section below, because the divine is saying that for most of you, you are ready. You have been saying your prayers and you are going to be leaving behind things that don't serve you. And as you leave things that don't serve you, the pain is gone. And now you are having that clear mind. You are having that clarity that you know exactly what you need to do. It almost feels like this is what is blocking your blessings that is here. Because when we remove these two cards, you're seeing that you have divine guidance. Maybe you are literally dreaming the winning numbers to a lottery. Maybe you are literally dreaming what you need to do next. You feel inspired as you are receiving the message of what you need to do next. You take a gamble, you take a chance because you're understanding that divine guidance is always going to be leading you to be at the right place at the right time. OK, so you're knowing when it is to take it slow and steady and you know it when it is right to just go for it. OK, so the divine is saying not only that, you're starting to see that as you're taking chances, as you're rolling the dice, as your luck is in, new chapters, new beginnings starts to flow into your life. And there's a sense of you stepping into the energies of the page of cups. Remember, I said you receive and then you pray for something new. You receive, you pray for something new and on and on it goes because life was meant to be an adventure. So once you're in the energy of gratitude, once you're experiencing your new beginnings, the cups, the page of cups about going on an adventure, right? And the adventure that you're going on is connected to your daydreams because the page of cups really daydreams about what life should look like. Isn't that the perfect card? right? Who doesn't want to wake up in the morning and just have time to write in your journal, to show the divine gratitude, to have some fresh flowers, to have the time and the luxury to do whatever it is that you need to do before you have to get the day started. And this is the same type of energy when we're looking at the page of cups. You can see the page of cups is just there daydreaming, thinking about how I want the future to look like, really embodying the future, thinking, what if pigs could fly? What could be possible for me? So remember, you are taking a chance. And the chance that you're taking, dream big. That's what I'm hearing. And dream even bigger than that. Because the blessings that are here could surprise you. The mountains that you're going to be jumping over because now you're inspired. Now you're receiving that divine guidance. You are going to be surprised at what you can achieve. You are going to be surprised at what is coming into your life. So the divine is truly wanting you to understand that once you see things falling into place, it is time for you to dream even bigger. And then even bigger than that, big, big, okay? And you'll be surprised at what is going to be happening next. So, beloved, this is the message that the divine wanted to give to you. Remember to comment 777 and claim these beautiful energies that are here. And again, I hope that you are going to be able to join me for this super moon tomorrow, the celebration, the candle magic manifestation that we're going to be doing. Or go on my website and have a look at all the other ceremonies that are there. On that note, I'm going to see you very soon. And it is a goodbye from me.